Today I will show you how we attach a particular system or static mesh to a socket. So basically I will attach this static mesh here to my character model. So to do that you have to add a static mesh or particular system into the level, then scale it up and down as you like. And then under, under the mobility tab you have to choose moveable, that's pretty important, the moveable. And now we have to add the socket to our character. So go to the skeletal mesh, do a double click onto it, choose the bone for example the, the middle finger here, do a right click onto the bone and then add socket. Now type in a name, for example weapon, and now we can add our static mesh to that socket. So go to the go to your skeleton, go to your static mesh, select it, and drag and drop it onto the socket. And now it will get displayed in the socket editor or in the skeletal mesh editor. Here you can choose the position of the object and the rotation, but you can't scale it up or down. You have to do that in the level. So now it is pretty big. But you can see in my level, there it is small, and you will see the difference when we test it out. Okay, now close this and go into the level blueprint. So blueprints, open level blueprint. Now if you select static mesh, then you have to do a right click into the level blueprint, type in attach, and then choose attach actor to component. Now under socket name, you have to type in a socket name, for example weapon. So you have to choose the socket name that you have chosen before in this class mesh editor, to make this weapon. Under the attached location type, choose snap to target, then add an event, so add event, I will choose the event begin play, connect it with the attach actor to component, then do another right click and add a get player, a get player character node. Now click onto return value, drag and drop it, and now type in get mesh and add it. Then connect the mesh with the in parent. And that's it. Now just compile it and try it out. So play from here. And as you can see here now, we have it in our hand. And as I said, you can adjust the position from that in the skeletal mesh editor. And the scale you have to adjust in the level, as you can see here now. Okay, yeah. Thank you for watching and until next time.